Alright YouTube, welcome back to the channel. So let's get straight into this video. Let's talk about how you're selfish for a good reason, right? Or you're selfish in the best way. So if you're watching this video, most people think being selfish is like a bad thing, right? Like being selfish means you're like some evil, bad person, but no. What I'm talking about is you being selfish means you care about your life. It doesn't mean you don't care about other people's lives, but you prioritize your life, right? And you don't care about opinions, this, gossip, this, drama, this, blah, 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 these things, right? So whenever you live your day-to-day -day life, you're only focused on what you need to do, your purpose, the things that benefit you, right? People think that being selfish means you're someone that manipulates other people or you're someone that doesn't care about other people, right? That's not what it is. Because being selfish means you prioritize the things that you need to do, right? So everything in your life that's a priority is the things that are for you, that are going to benefit you. So you're not going to go over here looking at other people and wanting to see what's going on in their life or like going to their life and like, oh, what can I help them with? Or like, what are they doing in their life? Or like giving too much of your energy away, right? That's not how you're supposed to be. That's not how God wants you to be either. Because God has a purpose for you. If you're watching this video, God has a purpose for you. And that purpose is going to be you looking like you're selfish, right? It's because you're serving God. You're living You're living through like the vision that God has for you. So you're going to come across as selfish. So whenever you've spoken to people, like you could have had situations to where like he or she said this about you. And you're just like, they said what? Like you just don't, you just don't care, right? You just, you literally don't care. And people have maybe hated on you because of this, right? They could have called you, oh, you're so selfish. You only care about yourself or you only do this, you only do that. That's probably the furthest from the truth possible, right? You know what to care for and what not to care for. You know the things to care for are the things in your life, right? You know, your finances, your well-being, your mental well-being being your emotional well-being, your spiritual well-being, all these things, right? You prioritize yourself the whole time. You're not over here speaking with other people that you don't need to speak to. You're not here trying to have a conversation with somebody about nothing or like somebody that you don't know about nothing, right? You're just someone that strictly lives to serve you and serve God, right? This is why you're selfish for a good reason you're the best form of selfishness there is because that's the only way you're going to live the life that you want is going to be selfish right because people think being selfish means stepping on other people it means hurting other people it means not listening to their needs that's that's not the truth right because you could pe people could have their needs people who have the things that they ask of you or talk to you about and you can honor these things, right? But your life always comes first. It's always going to come first, right? Before you do anything with someone else, you're going to be like, I need to do this, this, and that first. Because I, I need to make sure I'm good. I need to make sure myself is good before I do anything with other people, before I, you know, co-mingle with other people, go speak to other people, whatever it is. And that selfishness is what's going to drive you towards the thing that God has for you towards the success, towards a vision that you have, right? A lot of you that are watching this video, you have a vision that's bestowed upon you by God. You might have a vision. You might know what it is, or you might kind of know what it is, or you might already be on that vision, right? But that's the focus that you have. So in order to get to that vision, you're going to have to focus on your own life, right? You're not going to go half in and half out. You're going to go full in and focus on that. So you could have gone around situations to where like some, somebody asks you of something and then you're like, no, I can't because I got to do this, this and that <clears throat> or something like that. And they could be like, oh, you're so selfish. You never come out. You always do these, these things, that, whatever it is, blah, blah, blah. And you're just like, hey, that's just what I got to do, right? Those are the priorities. Those are the things that matter in my life. Those are th the things that are going to better my life, right? You're someone that focuses on keeping your life intact, keeping your life good. 
Because if you walk around being selfless and talking to other people and listening to other people and having small talk with other people and letting anyone into your uh, space and everything, that's going to be draining, right? Because you speak to the wrong people, they're negative, they start to drain you. You speak to some other people that have different ideas from you, different, they're all just completely different from you, you're not going to connect, right? So a lot of these things become a waste of time, so... Your attitude is cutthroat, but not in a mean way. If, if you're resonating with this video, you have a cutthroat attitude, but it's not malicious. It's just strictly just to benefit yourself and make sure your life is good, but it's not at the detriment of other people. You're not malicious towards other people. You're not doing anything to other people. You just focus on you, right? This is why if you're watching this video, you might be, you might be someone of like a lone wolf, right? You like to do things alone. You like doing loner activities and everything. And, that's just your personality, right? You may have a group of friends, whoever you chill with, and you guys have a good time or whatever, but still your whole being is more like a lone wolf, right? You like to be yourself. You like to be in your own energy. You like to focus on the things that you need to focus on, right? And that's going to make you look selfish because that's just how you're perceived. But it's not a bad thing because you hear about these things in the world where they're like, oh, you need to care what people think, right? Let's go care about what people think. Let's go care about what they do or she does or he does or what's supposed to be done or what society says is the right thing to do or the step you need to take to get here this that that blah 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 that's not who you are you're someone that's mostly a free spirit right you're someone that listens to yourself you listen to yourself and because you listen to yourself that's what leads you to the good things in your life that's what leads you to your vision because when you listen to yourself you're listening to that vision that God has for you right so you got to listen to yourself and that's going to make you look selfish. It's going to make you look like someone that doesn't care for other people. It's going to make you look like someone that doesn't socialize with other people. It's going to make you look like someone that's quote-unquote evil, right? But none of these are true. This is just who you are. This is how God made you. And nothing, nothing that you're doing is bad, right? Only the world tells you different things. The world, the world is full of manipulation, right? It's full of deceptive. It's full of hypocrisy, right? So someone could call you selfish, and they could be the most selfish person on earth. So a lot of things that you hear and see that people are saying, they're just projecting it onto you, right? So they call you different things, but it's really something they feel about themselves, right? They're just taking it out on you. This is why you need to tread lightly about these things. You need to see what someone's actually saying, right? See where it's coming from. See if it's coming from a genuine place or see if it's coming from a place of hate, of envy or whatever it is, right? You need to really discern the spirit of everything and everybody. But just know, if you resonate with this video, this video is for you. You're probably someone that's a selfish person, right? That's why, that's why I say quotation mark selfish, because selfish is always known to be a bad thing, but it's not a bad thing at all. Because how are you going to have a good life if you're not going to be selfish, right? If you're not going to be focused on your own life, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't work, right? But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Of course, don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment anything below. And if you're not subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe. All right, God bless you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.